Harry and Meghan, humiliated, got silent treatment from family over their apparent contempt for the Queen. You don't know the value of what you have until you lose it. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced they would be leaving their roles as working royals in early 2020, as a source close to Her Majesty claims she was hurt by the decision. The couple were allowed to leave the firm, but couldn't use their HRH titles in their quest to become financially independent. Following the death of the Queen, Prince Harry and wife Meghan, alongside Prince William and Kate, appeared outside Windsor Castle to greet well-wishers and see people's tributes to their grandmother. They really got lucky that the family is quite civilised. Any other family would have forbidden that failed actress and the puppet to put a foot back. That are super respectful for UK people because when she went to greet the people and grab the flowers from them, the late monarch, who died at age 96 on September the 8th, reportedly confided to a friend that she was exhausted by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's decision to quit royal life and the ensuing drama they caused, writes royal scribe Katie Nicholl in her upcoming book. She was very hurt, the confidant claimed, adding that the Queen lamented, I don't know, I don't care, I don't want to think about it anymore. Nicholl also noted that it was a source of sadness to the Queen that she got to see so little of Archie and Lilibet and that Harry and Meghan were not able to join her for a weekend at Balmoral in August, when the Queen used to host a sleepover for all of her grandchildren and great-grandchildren. The monarch ended up seeing Archie and her namesake Lilibet a handful of times. Prospects of reconciliation between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family following the Queen's death appeared short-lived as there was little interaction during the funeral on Monday. Royal expert and author Tom Bauer has said the Sussexes will go back to California fuming after the royal family showed very little sympathy towards them following the death of Queen Elizabeth II. Mr Bauer told that he believed Harry and Meghan looked quite angry during the funeral of the late monarch because they were not being afforded the respect they think they deserve. Tensions between the Sussexes and the Cambridges were rumoured to have improved during the past fortnight, with both couples appearing together the weekend after the Queen's death, but Mr Bauer said notions of reconciliation were nonsense, because Meghan and Harry have said such terrible things in the past. Mr Bauer said, I thought the whole way the rest of the royal family treated Meghan and Harry today showed that they had very little sympathy towards them, and in return, Meghan and Harry looked quite angry that they were not being treated with the respect they think that they deserve. They're going to go back to Montecito fuming, and the autobiography of Prince Harry will soon be dug out and released. The idea that the body language between William and Harry showed reconciliation is in my view nonsense. How on earth can there be reconciliation when Harry and Meghan have said such terrible things about William and his wife? There's just no grounds for sympathy unless the two of them, the Sussexes, apologise. Meghan Markle was pictured crying as the Queen's coffin left London for Westminster. Now, some claim the Duchess of Sussex was the only family member to shed a tear on the day. Alongside a photograph of Meghan wiping a tear away, one tweeted, Meghan, being the only one who cried for the Queen, sums up everything really. However, several photos of the royals, including King Charles III, showed their emotion on the day. Prince Andrew also wept as he walked behind his mother's coffin on its way to Westminster Abbey.